Rick Short is a local, self-taught, multimedia artist. He is an 11-year resident of Mount Dora, having moved from Orlando for the same reasons many people do. I came here because I saw where it was a small town like you would see in California. You had a very nice community of people waving to each other. But it was a very um, art-centric community with a lot of antiques and art and seemed to be a place that kind of um, was a cutting edge place for Central Florida. Rick is an artist who is constantly evolving in his mediums. I do a lot of conceptual art with digital painting in Photoshop and 3D graphics like Maya and Wonder. And the technology now is driving things where you can take things that are photorealistic and paint them to make them more of a finished look between painting and, and photography. He started painting when he was nine years old and says he never grew out of it. We're all taught as children to be artists and this is something I never kind of outgrew, I guess, or the bug was always there to create and envision things and put them on paper. So this is something I've been doing basically for a lifetime. Rick fondly recalls the first picture he ever painted. Um, I painted a picture of a barn that I saw out of a Sears catalog. <laughs> and it was just a picture that was, um, it just kind of caught my eye. It was an orange sunset with a old wooden barn. And I said, I love that picture. Just something simple and very rural and country to it. So I painted that in watercolors and it came out very, very well and was pleased with it. Rick says his art is a mix of surrealism and photorealism. I tend to look at photographs quite a bit and I never went to art school so I sort of learned by looking at pictures and photographs and studying light and texture and color and looking at the realism of how we see things every day with our eye and putting that on paint. He is inspired by stories of old and new and uses his artistic abilities to make that vision come to life. It's almost like telling a story where you see something you know, like, like with this image right here, it is telling a story where at one time there were dragons and what we believe to be called dinosaurs on the earth. And the Bible even speaks of them, records them where there were times when people saw them and envisioned them very detailed. So I look at a story that I want to tell and I'll sit down and paint that story and try to make it come to life. Rick is not only a multimedia artist, but uses many avenues to sell his art, from local boutiques to occasional art shows and promotion through his website. His work is colorful, eclectic, and another reason why his visions make Mount Dora someplace special. I think the most important thing is to surround yourself with people who can encourage you and uplift you, and whether it be a mentor or a teacher or family member or friend, because as you're an artist, you're looking for um, that encouragement all the time because it does get to be discouraging and it's difficult to find people who have the gift of encouragement. So if you can find those mentors or family members or friends, keep them always around you because they will inspire you and encourage you when you're having difficult times as most people do, whether it be having difficulty conveying an image or being successful or just keeping you going and, and keeping you prosperous.